How you doing? I just want to point out something. This YouTuber right here, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, but this person right here is the best MCOC YouTuber by a country mile, by a huge margin. The best MCOC YouTuber. This person is Allison Edits. So let me read what this person posted in the community post and why this person is the best MCOC YouTuber out there. So I need everyone to comment roasting Ronin. Yes, I'm serious. And yes, I really want hardcore insults. They don't have to be true or anything, but I can't think of anything. So I'm asking y'all. Thank you so much. This is why this person is the best MCOC YouTuber. Because I believe Ronin is this person's uh, favorite champion. And for some reason, he, he wants YouTubers to roast this person, Allison Edits. Which is really funny, I think. You know, not in an offensive way, but I think it's funny. You know, imagine going to Slayers of God's YouTube channel and saying something offensive to him. You know what he'll do to you? He's going to start cussing at you. Then he'll delete your comment. And then he'll block you. That's what Slayer of Gods would do. If you, if you say anything offensive. Okay. Same thing with Legacy. He'll start cussing at you. And probably, you know, block you. I don't know for sure. But definitely will start cussing at you. Same thing with Karate Mike. Not to the extent of like Slayer of Gods. But, you know, same thing, you know, I, I really, you know, wish, I don't want to say wish, let's just say I hope other YouTubers can follow the same step with Allison Edits, you know, like they can, you know, if you're going to be a YouTuber, especially a famous YouTuber, people are going to say stuff that you don't like, you know, if you don't like it, then don't be an MCOC YouTuber, that's it. There's a price to fame, and you if you can't take the you know the offensive people, and then you can't be a YouTuber, at least a famous one, you know. If you want to be famous in this world, people will say something you don't like. It's just just the way the world works, you know. And I'm really I'm not saying I'm I'm anywhere close to as good as person as this YouTuber, but I'm pretty much the same philosophy when it comes to insults. You know, I will never block you or delete your comment you know the only the only person or, or only thing that'll delete your comment is like YouTube, YouTube you know and I can't control that you know so if you say something profanity I would I would not say profanity at you unless you say something profanity back at me you know but that's usually how I talk to my friends so I don't think of it as a big deal you know nowadays saying something profanity is a big deal which is crazy to even think about you know it's i'm just want to tell you a fact this is true story i got fired from my job for saying the f word no i'm not kidding for saying the f word i got fired from my job what is the world coming to or to be more specific what is america coming to i mean people are looking other people from other countries are laughing at america right now i have no doubt about it it's just really sad what America has come to. I've been working for 20 years. And this is the first time I ever got fired for saying the F word. Can you believe that? <laughs> and it wasn't like saying the F word as like uh, saying it to somebody, but like having a, con having a com co casual conversation with somebody. You know, like I just said, no effing way. And I guess, you know, as a math teacher... Uh, so my job is as a math teacher. I guess one of the kids heard and the parents complained. So I guess that, that's how I got fired just because of that. You know, talking to one of the employees. And then I guess the kids heard and the parents complained. It's just crazy, you know. And, you know, if you watch Babylon B on YouTube, you know, they make a lot of parody stuff on YouTube. And it's... It's funny, it's just funny at the same time, it's kind of scary or sad that a lot of them is turning into real reality. The stuff they say that are supposed to be parody. You know, I saw this video of like, 
I don't know if it was like, you know, the Chinese leader or the Korean leader or something like that. How to fight Americans. Just yell something that will offend them, you know, like give them, say, tell them the wrong pronouns, you know, or something like that. Anything that will, might, might be offensive to them and that's how you beat them. Not by fighting them, by throwing fists or using guns, but just saying something that might offend them, like saying the wrong pronouns, which is, I thought it was funny, but it's just become a reality. It's just so sad, you know. I just hope, really hope that other YouTubers can follow the same thing as Allison edits and we actually not take things so seriously and have a backbone because if you want to be a YouTuber, you just have to take you know, it's, it's not going to be perfect. People are going to say stuff that you don't like. That's it. Thank you.